Next, we need to decide on a scale for the angle released x-axis horizontal axis information. Usually, the x and y axes themselves will be the zero point. In this case, we need to get up to 90 for angle released, and there's no way we can count by ones, not even twos. Now, if we count by fives, We can get it there, it'll fit, but we've used less than half of the scale. We want to spread things out. So I'm actually going to count by two and a halves, but I'm only going to write every other number. So it looks like I'm counting by fives, but you're noticing I'm going to skip a, a line. Uh, that makes it less cluttered. Again, numbers go on lines, not on spaces. So I'm not counting by fives, I'm counting by two and a halves. It's just that I'm only listing every other number, which would be units of five, multiples of five. So it'd be zero, two and a half, five, seven and a half, ten, and so on. And I'll continue going all the way to 90. I fit all the numbers I need. They're evenly spaced. And we are done with the x-axis scale. For pendulum frequency, the greatest value we have is 9 swings per 10 seconds. So we certainly aren't going to count by 2 and a halfs. Uh, we're not even going to count by 1s, because if we count by 1s, we again will use just a small part of the whole scale. So we're going to count by one halves, but again I'll write every other number so it looks like I'm counting by whole single numbers. Notice I'm consistent, I'm counting by halves the whole way, 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.52, I have to be consistent the whole way along. Here I'm going 0, 2.55, 7.510. You don't have to have the same scale on each axis. It depends on the numbers you have each time. The next step is plotting the points. The first point was a 10 degree angle had an average frequency of 8.5 swings in 10 seconds. So I'm going up the 10 degree line till I get to 8.5, halfway between 8 and 9. And I'm making a dot there. Next, at 45 degrees, the average frequency was 8 swings. So I'm going to go 45 up till 8, make a point. The last value, 90 degrees, had an average frequency of 9 swings. So I'm going up the 90 to 9, and I'm plotting a point. Now, what if the 10 degree angle gave a swing of 8.25 swings per 10 seconds? Well, you know, 8.25 would be halfway between 8 and 8.5. So every number on your data table doesn't have to be on your axes, but you can um, judge where the numbers belong. In other words, if I had a frequency, I mean, an angle of 21 degrees, I would know that would be just a little bit past the 20. The last step is using a straight edge to connect your points.